Uh, welcome back. This is Naturally Mar. Thank you for coming back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing a new um, show on BET called Encore. Before we start, please hit that like button. Also, I'm welcoming all new subscribers, so please hit that subscribe button and also hit that notification bell so you can receive constant notifications when I upload a new video. Okay, now let's start. All right, so to start this off, we um, meet the ladies who are going to be a part of this new group that is being created for this reality series. So first off, we meet two members from Cherish. So we have the two, the twins um, that are Fallon and Felicia. They're actually gonna be the youngest um, members of this group that we're gonna meet. Secondly, we meet um, Pamela or Pam from Total. Um, now the ladies don't necessarily uh, recognize uh, Pam when she comes in. And they could barely hear her because, of course, she has a mask on. My thought is Pam was wearing a mask on and off throughout this whole episode. But weren't they wouldn't they have been tested for COVID before they started filming the show? Anyhow, um, the next uh, person we meet is uh, Nivea. Now, Nivea wasn't a part of a group. She is a solo act. Um, but she's the only solo act that's on this show. I don't mind. Nivea is funny and she is my mood throughout this whole episode. So next we meet um, Shamari. Shamari was from the group, um, girl group called Black. Um, and of course, they kind of dissolved after Left Eye from um, TLC passed away. Uh, the next person that we meet is um, Aubrey. She is from Dandy Kane. Aubrey doesn't look like Aubrey from the past. This Aubrey has some new modifications. Whew. Anywho, we meet Aubrey. <laughs> and um, the next person, next two we meet actually are Lamisha and Irish from the group 702. Now, as these people are coming in, the youngest members of this group, which is Fallon and Felicia from Cherish. Fallon is instantly shading these people because they're they're older. They started shading actually after they met Pam um, about the age, thinking that they would have someone, people within their own age range. Mind you, Fallon and Felicia, I believe, are in their early 30s, which are not that much younger than the women that are also on the show with them. There might be about 12 years difference, maybe. Anywho, the third member that we meet is um, Keely from 3LW. Now, as the ladies are getting to know each other, they're starting to talk um, about some of the things that they experience as a girl group. You see some of the backstory, um, like uh, with Black, how, you know, they're, their um, group kind of ended once Lisa Lopez from TLC passed away. Uh, Nivea kind of, you know, had a hit and then her second album wasn't really supported by her label. So then that kind of fizzled out. Um, you see 702, they kind of had their own issues within their group. Um, two of the group members couldn't get along. Um, with the lead singer, um, I believe that was Lemisha, felt that she didn't really get recognized that much. And that caused problems because Irish was stuck in the middle between um, the two members. Um, with, um, I believe, Cherish, they um, had, what, one or two hits, and then it kind of didn't go anywhere with them. But with them, they, of course, tell us their um, accomplishments, how they have a song with Justin Bieber, how they did a song with, um, who else did a song with? They have a song with Justin Bieber, and I believe they also did a song with Usher, and that, you know, they're, they're doing well with themselves for, for writing um, their songs for um, other artists. However, you're on this show, so even though you have all of those accomplishments doesn't make you any better than anybody else. Anywho, um, they get to Keely and um, talking about, as they're talking about, I guess, what, they're, what they want. Um, and Keely was just like, she's not here to sing. 
Actually, she's here to correct it direct. Well, who told her to say that? That caused the first argument. Shamari wasn't too happy about it. Um, Aubrey was kind of taken aback, but she wasn't as bothered as um, some of the ladies. But the twins, um, Fallon and um, Felicia, they took offense to it. Like, what do you mean you're going to creative direct us? Like, we should be creative directing you because they have um, more hits. They have more relevant um, work in the industry right now. Um, and then they get into an argument with Lamisha and then Lamisha actually stands up and kind of like, okay, what's your problem type of a thing. And, um, because I guess she felt bullied or their attitude was a little bit too much. Fallon and Felicia, of course, storm off afterwards saying that they were going to leave. Um, but that didn't phase the other ladies, but however, Fallon and Felicia have come off like real, um, with a real attitude that has rubbed the other members the, the wrong way. They don't really want to work with them and I wouldn't either. But it's interesting that within this, the first 12 minutes already we have an argument. Before I forget, the funny part of that whole argument scene was Nivea searching for snacks. Girl, I don't blame you. Go search for those snacks. Don't get involved in the petty argument. Nuvia was chomping on her little rice cake in the corner, just watching the drama and not getting involved. Totally my move. Yes, Nuvia, that's the way to go. We get to the next day where, you know, everybody's mood is a little different. The twins are outside working on some beats. And then we see Pam go out just, you know, to talk with them and ask if she can pray. Yes, that's right. Pam is now turned her life over to God. So she's very spiritual. So she's out there praying with them, um, which is nice to see. Um, and then the twins come back in and they're on this, you know, they want to turn over the, a new leaf because the, the attitude that we saw, the people that we saw in the first 12 minutes wasn't them. No, I believe that is how your attitude really is, but we'll see how they proceed going forwards. Anyhow, not everybody is willing to accept their apology like irish lamisha and um keely aren't really having their apology they aren't really vibing with the twins the ladies get called down to the couch area and of course on the tv we see it's sita walking them to the music mansion anyhow she basically tells them the details of what's going to happen how they are going to be trying to um become a group um record a hit and of course i believe they're supposed to be performing afterwards um so okay so now this is where things get a little dicey we have um three sections so they're going to meet with the vocal coach they're going to meet with the producer songwriter and they're also going to um meet with the choreographer so we have uh first the ladies meet the vocal coach with which is cinnamon who is shamari's um vocal coach from like when she was 12 years old so we see the ladies now um everybody is going to sing a piece of a song so there are a few ladies who repeat the songs because that's the song that they're um given anyhow uh we start with um actually keely decides to start so she starts off with singing angel is mine um it is a little shaky i could see why um why she might not want to do the singing, why she would rather do um, the creative director, be the creative director um, for this group. Um, next, we have uh, Nivea, who um, sounds, she sounded, you know, there there's room for improvement, but she was one of the better singers, I believe. Um, and then we had Shamari, who sounds amazing. And, um, Aubrey does sing. Um, she has a very sound like, like a very powerful voice. She was like one of the loudest singers, I believe, that was singing. However, she has more of like that grovel, or she was doing more of that grovel that Christina Aguilera, Christina Aguilera um, would do. Um, then we had, of course, Pam um, sung, and Pam has that you know 
groove. Pan just has a unique voice out of the, the group. You can really tell um, who that is. Um, then, of course, the twins sing. Um, Fallon starts off, uh, she was okay. And her sister, Felicia, I believe is actually the better singer. She has a really nice tone. I like her voice. Um, then we get to Irish um, and Lamisha. Lamisha starts, her voice is kind of shaky. However, Irish was really shaky. Um, and you could tell even Shamari had to have a little chuckle about that and said she's a lot shaky. Next, we see the ladies go, um, I believe it's to uh, meet with the producer and songwriter. Um, now, this was interesting. The ladies couldn't agree on, I guess, a vision. Um, they have, okay, so this was, so they meet with the producers um, next. And in this session, you could see that the ladies really don't have a vision. They can't agree on anything. A few of the older ladies, um, like Pam, uh, Lamisha, Irish, um, they don't want to really do too many sexual things, anything too raunchy. And of course, you know, the younger girls are willing to do a variety of things. Um, but who says they really need to be raunchy? You can sing R&B in a lot of ways, which doesn't have to be raunchy, in my, my perspective. Uh, but this will be interesting because they really couldn't agree on a vision. We also get um, the girls meeting the choreographer, choreographer and um, doing a little routine, dance routine. And of course, the stronger dancers are um, Aubrey, Fallon, Felicia, Shamari, and Keely. Uh, the other ladies need a lot of work. Don't know how that's going to work out, but they do need a lot of work. So you can kind of see with each thing, there was like a little bit of a divide between um, the girls like Fallon, Aubrey, and Felicia kind of, you know, starting to pull away a bit. Then we get to see Aubrey, Felicia, and Fallon having a little talk about, um, you know, what they would like to, where they th see things going, and they decide to go to talk to the rest of the girls. Now, when they start talking to the rest of the girls, you know, Aubrey, you know, started saying that she, you know, sees herself being in a, seeing herself working with, or really gelling with, Felicia and Fallon. However, um, she feels that there should be two groups, not just one, just because of the, the mass differences between the, the ladies. And trying to get everybody to agree on things might not work. So this, of course, rubs the ladies the wrong way because then Fallon and Felicia say, you know, they wouldn't mind adding another person like Shamari to their group. Um, and, you know, Shamari doesn't mind working with, Shamari would love working with everybody. She doesn't have a problem with working with everybody. So that puts like uh, Lamisha, Irish, and Nivea, and Pam basically in a group. Kaylee, of course, doesn't like this, didn't make any type of decision because of course she is there to get the girls to make one group, not two different groups. So she was pissed off about that. Um, and of course, Lamisha and Irish felt away because now you're saying, okay, this one is picking out one or this one works want to work with this one. It's creating a divide. Later on, we see, you know, of course, Keely um, stating her views with Irish and Lumisha and Fallon. Um, you know, that she felt that Aubrey is actually creating division. Like her thought of put it, bringing two groups is creating division, um, which I can agree upon. Um, it is creating a little bit of a, a divide. Um, however, the shady thing is that Fallon and her sister go back and tell Aubrey that this is what Keely is saying about her, that she's creating division amongst the group. And then Aubrey um, decides to call Keely out on the fact that she's saying, that, saying these things about her. Well, Keely stands in it, um, which was interesting. Um, these two are very strong minded, so they're going to be going at it, I believe. So Keely um, stands in it and says, yeah wanting to create two group is causing a division and causing other ladies to feel away. Not everybody is feels great about the decision. Just because you said your views doesn't mean that people are going to feel all right about that. Um, so 
this is going to be interesting. This has, I think, will be a really good reality show that was put together by Carlos King. Um, can't wait to see what the rest of the season is going to be like. So I think I will be reviewing this um, as well. So watch out for my videos. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Bye.